Hi guys. So I have my phone in a different angle. So we're gonna try that out. We will see. I'm so ghetto though. I have it set with the um with with ornament holders. Don't ask. It's like threaded through the vent. It's pretty like bad. <laughs> We will see. We'll see. I am going right now to meet my mom for lunch. Um, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. So that's what we are doing. I was, this morning I was editing my recipe, my first recipe video I did. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm excited about it. Um, it's little meatloaves and pies. They're so good. They really are. I thought it was gonna be really hard to film, like cooking and stuff. And like, you know what though? Really was not that bad at all. So hopefully it comes out well for you guys because it's really good. It's one of our favorites. But yeah. We are going to Chili's, I believe. Yeah, Chili's. It's just near her work. It works. This morning, I had to go to my kiddo's school for a meeting. And um, just about some changes we're going to do going forward once um, Christmas break is done and stuff. And little bit different environment for him um, that I think we I guess all think that will maybe work a little better for him um, so yeah dealing with that a little bit but I will say it feels better now because this has actually been like kind of months now in the making <laughs> um, maybe it's not like the perfect solution or exactly what we want but it's a solution with a it's done you know pretty much done so that's good and that feels better to just be able to let that go a little bit and you know nothing's ever over right you're a parent but at least just not have to stress about it and not have an answer and you know it's funny last night Nate and I were talking about so it's like what are we gonna do what are we gonna say as what we want and I was like you know I don't know I don't know and that's rare for me I always know I always know an answer I always have an answer always and whether it's right or wrong I do and I really didn't this time and that's really big for me and really big in the situation of like something that you know probably should <laughs> and but I just decided that I'm gonna go with my gut however I felt today I mean I, I'm not saying I went in there completely blindly um, but I did not have it all figured out of where I was gonna go with it at all and I just kind of went with my gut and you know what it works it works and why I mean it works too is you could spend hours as I've done many 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 times in the past spend hours absolutely stressing about it and dissecting every single thing that someone might say and what you're gonna say back and this and that and I think sometimes that's good to do at least just to even put you on the page you want to be on going into something it's good to talk about things and hypotheticals even, you know? But, but, at the end of the day, if it's causing you stress, you need to kind of let it go. And you need to just go with what feels right. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did that because it was early this morning to, to have to do that. And I did not sleep great last night, but I also did get sleep last night and that's good. And it's like, why, why beat yourself up over something that is going to happen anyway, whatever is meant to happen. And 
it doesn't have to be all that. And it doesn't make you less of a parent for, I'm not even going to use the term not caring because that's kind of ridiculous, but not beating yourself up over something. I feel like people think, you know, to be a good parent means you beat yourself up over things. That's what parents do. And it's like, yeah, but that's, again, not perfect. I'm not saying that I have not done that either, but what makes that a good parent necessarily too, you know? In fact, I feel that's the kind of stuff that actually, in some ways, made me worse because that's where my focus was on is how I'm feeling and how about a situation. And it took away from the times that I actually had with my kid just to relax and enjoy the time with my kid, you know? So, point is, just relax. Just let it things happen the way that they're meant to happen and do your best with what you know and you'll know you'll just know what the answer is in your gut anyway like I said I'm glad it's done as far as a this is what we're gonna try and go from there um but yeah yeah so, I know I said this, I think, last week, <laughs> but it is supposed to rain, I believe, tomorrow. Today's Tuesday, so Wednesday. I want to say it's like supposed to rain between like Wednesday and Saturday, like off and on. Oh, that is not a cute angle, guys. Anyway, but um, yeah, so hopefully I can show you some rain. Oh. This car stinks. I hate that. It makes me sick. So, I was thinking, too, in my last vlog from yesterday, I was talking about my skin and how it's just kind of a hot mess right now, and it still is, but I did use the Proactive last night, and I have not done anything today. I kind of, like, splashed my face with water, but... Um, yeah, so yeah, it's still, you know, I'm just going to give it the rest of the week, hopefully to at least get better, but I do think it's probably going to get a little bit worse because that's what happens, but I don't think I'm going to film today. I think I'm just, my, I can feel my energy is a little bit off and I'll vlog. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't think so. I, I was talking about like, I'm going to do a lot more food ones. And last night I did do the meatloaf recipe. And maybe, depending on what I make tonight, I don't even know. Maybe I'll film it, depending on what it is. No, I'm lying. Guys, guys, just kidding. Maybe I'll vlog that, though, for you. But tonight is the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which Adriana Lima, can we all just take a moment? My God, that woman is stunning. Having said that, for I think the last... I'm, there's no joke here. <laughs> um, I want to say the last five years minimum, uh, maybe longer, honestly, we have gotten McDonald's Big Macs, Big Mac meals from McDonald's and watched the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. The reason why is we're self-loathing. Yep. And we've done this, literally. And it's kind of like now it is the joke of like, oh, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, let's go get McDonald's. That's what we do. And we feel really bad about ourselves watching them walk down the runway. And yeah, it's good. So, or, but we could like fatten it up real good. And I can make dinner because I will say the fashion show doesn't come on till like 10. So we could do dinner at like six, like normal. And then we can go get McDonald's at 10 o'clock at night and eat that too. Yep. Yep. Anyway, no, that's a real thing though. You guys should try it. <laughs> but yeah, Adriana Lima, she has always been my favorite. I think she is gorgeous. Yep. Another topic. I'm curious what you guys do or don't do or plans, all that. Those of you with kids, K 
kid or kids. What is your Christmas shopping list, present list look like? Is it over the top? Is it, which none of this bothers me at all. Whatever you guys do is go nuts, you know, or don't. <laughs> um, do you do a lot of gifts? Do you do even gifts? If you have multiple, you'll probably do. If you, if you have multiple kids, I'm sure they kind of get an even amount each. Um, no gifts? Do you do, um, I would just curious what you guys do and how extravagant or not does it go? And, you know, we were thinking this year, the last few years, to be completely honest, we have not really gotten him true Christmas gifts. Now, I say that, but here's the thing. My parents, <laughs> they take the cake, man. They, they, they take care of it to where we don't need to or feel we need to at all. And that's what grandparents do, right? And so that's great. And it helps a lot. We also, you know, I've talked about it before that my son's in speech therapy. And he, you know, it's not cheap at all. And that's what we, <laughs> the hit, that's his, there's his Christmas. <laughs> and that's monthly, right? And you know, I'm, maybe this is kind of bad in itself, but for the most part, if my kid wants something, for the most part, he gets it throughout the year. You know, if we go to the store and he wants something, if he's good or he's doing good that week or whatever it is, you know, for the most part, he gets the damn toy, you know? Um, not every time though. But point is, I think this year, what we were, th we were kind of talking about it, what we want to do we saw it at Costco as they had a big snowboard sled and it was like 15 bucks right so it wasn't bad at all we did not get it yet but we were kind of just talking about it and I think what we want to do is we want to get them that and that's it there it is you know the idea behind it is that we want to kind of more so have an experience versus true presents and toys and go take them to the snow. Um, supposedly we're gonna have some of that this year, not not directly where we live, but a little bit north of us. And we thought that would be fun and something that doesn't, you know, it's not gonna cost us a ton to do, you know, with presents and all that. And something fun we can all do together that he'll enjoy. And like I said, he's a kid that kind of gets what he wants throughout the year as far as toys and that kind of thing. So it's not like, oh, well, he's not going to get anything now and grandparents are going to come in. Point is, though, anyway, what do you guys think of that? Like, what do you, do you guys do something similar where, um, you know, you don't necessarily get a ton of toys to wrap and all that, but you do something as a family, that kind of thing. I don't know. That's something that we're thinking. We haven't really technically done anything yet, but that's kind of where we're at with it. We will see. Well, how do you guys feel about car vlogs? I'll be honest. They're convenient as a vlogger, not gonna lie. And I'm sure many other vlogging people that vlog will agree. Um, it's easy because what else are we doing? We're here, we can. Um, but I know they're kind of boring, so I apologize. I agree. Like, I think they are anyway. Um, I don't mind them, but when they become all the time, it gets a little bit monotonous. So, hopefully, the next time. I had so always kind of my rule of thumb with even my other videos, too. I try my best to, like, not have really repeats back-to-back. -back. Meaning, if I did a makeup tutorial one day, I don't really want to do that the next day entirely you know I want it to be different so that it kind of just keeps it fresh for everyone's taste some people don't like the tutorials and like more of the get to know me stuff or they like the tutorials and they don't like the get to know me kind of thing so I like to just kind of every other day or so it's something a little bit different so point is hopefully my next vlog will not be in the car <laughs> All right, so I am almost there, and it 
says 10.45, and I think they open at 11, so we should be good. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it is happening. It is happening, guys. So here's the pile we're of get, sauces. We're getting prepared. Yep. Yep, it's a thing. It's a real thing. And guys, little fun fact. Give it a shot. I've just changed your life. Get honey and dip your damn fries into pure honey. Change your life. Yeah. He he thought I was crazy when I told him that years ago. Yeah. And now he like loves it too. Right. But not every time. Not every time, but no, pretty like, much. I get like the first the first packet down and then I'm just like, eh. Yeah, God. so good. Um, but yeah, let's see. what do we get? What do we get? Are we oh well I got I got a Big Mac. One? Just one? <laughs> I got one Big Mac. And then we got the twenty piece the twenty piece chicken McNugget meal with two fries and two large drinks. Yes. Now we're gonna watch like eighty pound women <laughs> in nothing and feel really good about ourselves. Well, yeah, this is how we cope. As I told him earlier in the car, I said this is called self loathing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a real thing. Uh huh. All right, so we're gonna do that and then go into a food coma. Yeah, I'm never getting my wings, so I'm going to get my <laughs> McDonald's. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm eating. Bye.